Welcome. My name is Brian Doerr. I'm the lead evaluator for the main comprehensive inter intervention model and reading recovery uh, work here at the University of Maine Center for um, Literacy. And I also have a joint appointment in the Center for Research and Evaluation in the College of Education and Human Development. Today I'm going to take you through a quick overview of the SIMI or Comprehensive Intervention Model for Maine site. Uh, show you a little bit about what's in the website and how to log in. Quick overview, here we are in the home page for the SIMI site, which you should have received the link for. Uh, notice that the link on my page is for a demonstration site, um, which you're welcome to look at, but um, is not the site you'll be using to enter data. Your data site will be at SIMI, C-I-M-M-E dot U-Main dot E-D-U. Here we see the home page, tells a little bit about the history of SIMI, and it was developed really to help support teachers like yourself and to uh, promote collaborative conversations about the progress of children and also to provide future teachers with information about how children did in specific types of interventions. You can also see here under the About tab um, a little bit more information and under Contact Us you see contact information for myself, uh, Dr. Mary Rosser, um, Kit Cuddy, who is the lead database programmer and one of the uh, foundational partners here in creating SIMI. And a Help and Tutorials tab, which takes you to a new website. And we'll cover this in a separate training video. So I'm going to go back to the SIMI site. And then finally, the fifth tab here, which is the Secure site. And this is where you actually log in. Here you'll enter your username, which is generally your first initial of your uh, first name and then your last name all in lower case and your password. So I'm going to enter the demonstration. And log in. Now that I'm logged in, Notice here that I have a message center. That's the default landing page. And here we can see any messages that I might have received. Um, the default is to look at the red messages. Um, we can also look at unread messages, all messages, and messages that we may have sent. Um, in our uh, demonstration site, I don't have any messages yet. But if I did, this is where they would appear. The next uh, sidebar menu that is important is the tab called My Students. We can click on My Students and I'll see that I have two students assigned to me presently. We'll talk a little bit later about how to uh, add students and this sort of thing. But right now I'm just showing you around. Uh, I can see that I am authorized to do reading recovery, literacy lessons, and guided reading plus interventions. And so I can see all three types. If I click on reading recovery, Notice that I only see my reading recovery student. If I click on literacy lessons, I don't show any because I don't have any assigned right now. And guided reading plus. Notice that I see just my guided reading plus student. There are also tabs called begin intervention, which we'll talk about in a separate video. Add or transfer a student. Enter assessments. This is where like the observation survey data goes. And then my profile. This is where I can update information about myself. So this is just a basic overview of where uh, things are in the site, uh, how to navigate around. We're going to talk about each one of these separate functions in a separate training video. Um, we log out here in the top right. I'm going to do that now. And uh, we'll join you in the next training video.